Hello everyone and welcome back to Young Living's Switch to Safer series with Simply Serendipity. My name is Laura Gwynn Luntz and I am here with episode number eight and we're going to talk about shower supplies. Now if you are new to this series and you'd like to find all of the videos for it, go to simplyserendipitycentral.com forward slash switch. You will find a great intro to non-toxic home lecture and why essential oils are great, as well as each of these videos and a worksheet to help you work through what it is you're going to do to switch things out. Some people like to do a huge change out. Others prefer to do things a little bit slower, product by product, whatever you need to do is just fine. So go to simplyserendipitycentral.com forward slash switch to find all that you need. Well, y'all, today we're going to talk about shower. We're going to talk about shampoos, conditioners, body washes, and shaving cream. Now, with the first three in particular, there are um, four main toxins that are usually found in them, and that is sodium lauryl sulfate, or SLS. We've talked about that already with dish soap, I believe, is when we talked about that. Fragrances, and we've talked about that. Fragrances, remember, where manufacturers can hide toxins because um, they get to keep whatever manufacturers get to keep their fragrance ingredients a secret as part of their trade secrets. So they can hide toxins and chemicals in there. Um, I've read hundreds. They can hide. I know Clorox, which isn't, I know, skincare, um, but it's a cleaner. Uh, Clorox re released a list of 1906. I think it was six different ingredients that they put on that they hide under fragrance so it's a lot it's a lot a lot a lot we just need to be really careful with that um, and parabens um, parabens I'd like to talk about a little bit today and the last one is polyethylene glycol because I said there were four that's the fourth one um, but parabens is the one I want to talk about today parabens are endocrine disruptors and we've talked about that a little bit what is an endocrine disruptor endocrine system is your hormonal system so a disruptor is a chemical that acts like your hormones so in this case it usually acts like estrogen so it's an estrogen like compound that then lodges where estrogen is supposed to lodge so the way hormones communicate hormones are a long long-term communication the body has for each other. So one gland will release a hormone, it'll go into the bloodstream and it goes around wherever it is it's supposed to land, it does land and there's actually a receiver, receptor site for it. And when it lands and fits into that receptor site, which is made specifically for that gland, it's the other gland's way of talking to that gland about something that it needs to produce. Okay, so what happens with endocrine disruptors is they lodge where another, where a healthy hormone um, is supposed to land, and so then it sends a false message to the body, and it doesn't send, it's not a healthy one, right? So endocrine disruptors have been known now to, they're finding links with breast cancer, they're finding links with early onset menses, it's really huge for girls, I'm sure you've heard all about that. Um, crazy symptoms for menopause, um, they also affect the thyroid. Thyroid malfunctions have become rampant in our society. Adrenal issues, all of these things can get mucked up with endocrine disruptors, and that's what a paraben is. The other thing they found is they have found um, a buildup of parabens in breast tissue, and 18 out of, in one, one study, 18 out of 20 um, of breast tumors actually had parabens in them so they do know that they're building up in, in the breast tissue and it, it's found in deodorant it's found in lots of skincare so especially shampoo conditioner body wash and shaving creams so let's talk about what our options are so young living actually has five different shampoos they have lavender which is just lovely and calming right lavender shampoo they have copaiba vanilla and lavender mint and then they have kid scents and they have a pet shampoo so they have one for your special for your pets which your pets need your pets shouldn't you shouldn't use um, regular people shampoo on pets because they have special skin needs so um, I have here the lavender mint and the conditioner these are really nice so wrap your head around the fact that it, these contain none of the issues that we took none of the toxins we just talked about and they also contain lavender and mint and I love this because the mint is a little stimulating for the scalp 
and the lavender it just smells really really good now one thing you need to keep in mind when you are using the shampoo okay it's not as satisfying I'm just gonna tell you I'm putting it out there it's not gonna be as satisfying because it doesn't contain sodium lauryl sulfate do you remember what sodium lauryl sulfate does from dish soap it gives you foaming action so you are not gonna get that foaming action and my mom was like I just I like my foams I miss them and my response to that just so you know is suck it up buttercup because that's chemicals and you don't want them in your shampoo you don't want them on your scalp think of your scalp as having the follicle holes are a great place to absorb chemicals just saying okay now body washes young living has a whole bevy and I have most of them because I really love body washes um, this is just this they're just such a treat in the shower Morning start shower gel is one of my very very favorites. It is the start to my day and I always use it When oh, it's got lemon in it. I always use it on days when I need a little extra oomph. It's my little gift to myself And then we have sensation bath and shower gel So I'm just gonna tell you that this one is for those special evenings with your special mate I'll leave it at that you can interpret it however it is that you want to interpret that then we have two for evening. Um, I think we need these more than anything. We have lavender and evening peace. Evening peace is one of my, well, they're both uh, one of my, some of my favorites, but evening peace is just so delicate. And so I just smell it and I feel calm. I love to use these, by the way, I use these for bubble bath too. Okay, you're not gonna get the big foam, but it's pretty satisfying. Okay, the big foam is from you guessed it, sodium lauryl sulfate, but it's pretty satisfying. And I have jets in my tub, so that helps. So just so you know. But if you put it into the running water, I'm sorry, this is a little bright. If you put it right into the running water, you get some nice, nice scents out of it. Now, one more thing before we end is shaving cream. Now, I didn't go into the shaving cream ingredients, but just know that when I learned about them, I made my husband throw away a shaving cream that day, and we went shopping. Um, there is one for men, Shutron, and one for women, Mira. But I will tell you, they can be interchangeable. Um, I actually have used the Shutron and it's really lovely. Now, let me just say, keep in mind, when you shave, you get little tiny cuts. Little tiny, sometimes big, right? We can bleed for sure. But so little tiny cuts in the face, on the legs, under your arms, wherever it is you shave, w in which the chemicals have direct link to your bloodstream. So you want to be really careful with what with what you shave with, <laughs> what you shave with, okay? Now, I will tell you this lasts a really long time. I, you can see where it is, it's right about there. I have used this one for probably three months, and my daughter, you only need a tiny pump. It's very oily, obviously, because there's essential oils and, and carrier oils, and it, actually, I shouldn't say that, essential oils aren't oily. Um, but it's really, it's really lovely. My shave lasts an extra 24 hours, which I didn't know was possible. I didn't realize that you're shaving your substance, what you shave with, affects that. All right, guys, I hope this helps you with your shower needs, so to speak. Um, if you want to find all of the videos, remember you go to simplyserendipitycentral.com forward slash switch. If you haven't jumped on your Young Living journey yet, be sure to get a wholesale account. It's the best way to do it, y'all. You're going to save 24%, and the premium starter kit that gets you started is a huge, it's a huge deal. It's a really good deal. Now, if you all are if you are already a Young Living member, be sure you get yourself going on Essential Rewards. It is the best way to afford this and to really get yourself going. And the nice thing is it's, it's a lifestyle box. You get your wellness box every month with your supply of whatever it is. And these are all things you would buy other places, y'all. All things you buy at Target or Cub or Vitacost or Amazon or whatever. You're just going to order them from Young Living and then you're going to get points back which is huge. So you're gonna get 10% back for the first three months, 20% after that, and eventually you actually get up to 25, which is huge. So you definitely wanna get yourself going on essential rewards, you get cheaper shipping, it's just, it's fabulous. Um, and you get all these amazing products. Not only do they contain no toxins, they are infused with pure therapeutic, the world's greatest essential oils, let's just call it what it is, they're amazing and these oils support your system. So it's just, it's the hugest two forever. First of all, no toxins. Second of all, body support. It's fabulous. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Be sure you check out episode number nine coming at you tomorrow. See ya.